Union versus the Axis, which is uh, Russia in the beginning, Germany and uh, Italy, and a few other countries, and in the end it was just mainly Germany and Italy versus the Allied team. So here are the Americans and the Allies are here in town, mainly Russian and American tanks, and over there are the Axis tanks, mainly German tanks. We've also had Japanese here and Italians. Okay? All right, so the guys have already planned their strategy. Turn on your transmitters and turn on your tanks. While they're starting everything up, it's gonna get very loud, because when you get 20 of these things lined up and you get them running, it gets really noisy. Okay, everything's fired up. Thumbs up when you're ready. Thumbs up when you're ready. Daryl, William, Cody, Jim, everybody ready? Go! Now what they're going to do, folks, they're going to try and get to a spot where they can shoot the enemy but not get hit. There's a difference between cover and concealment. Cover keeps you from getting shot, concealment only keeps you from being seen. So they, if they have the tan camouflage, they want to try and stay against a tan background like a hill. If they have green or blue camouflage, they want to stay by trees so they're harder to see. When these guys bury these things in the trees and start shooting, uh, it's very hard to spot where they actually are unless you see that muzzle flash. You'll see mainly German tanks here. German had a wide variety of tanks and they made it a really, really uh, extravagant paint job, especially during the end of the war when they lost uh, control of the air. You see some of the tanks go right to the top of the hill so they can shoot down on their enemy, but when you're on the top of the hill, you can be shot from almost any place on the battlefield. So it takes a brave man to go to the top of the hill. All of our new people are rookies as before, we're, we're newbies. We tell them to stay back, stay in cover, and learn slowly so you can build yourself up. It takes about two years to become really comfortable doing this. We meet here about uh, five or six times a year, and we do it for three days straight, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The public is only allowed to go to us here mainly on Saturdays, uh, except for the summertime when they're here on Fridays as well. Some of you guys work on your gun barrels. Your gun barrels are pointing up in the air on some of your tanks, guys. Better too low with the gun barrel than too high. As you can see, some of those tanks are still running around pretty fast. 